I'm going to open my box of operatic delights on this most operatic of Friday nights. There's extracts and previews and intellectual games so you'll think like philosophers and laugh like drains. Now gird your loins and open your minds as this evening unravels, I mean unwinds. Um, la ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ANO. My name is John Berry, I'm the Artistic Director. Um, and it's fantastic to see so many people here. I, I don't want you to feel sorry for us, but actually, Last season finished on July the 23rd, and we started rehearsing for this season on August the 2nd. So as you can see, it's pretty much 12 months of the year. We started rehearsing with Gounod's Faust, we now have Macropolis case and rehearsals, and R Radomisto, and soon Don Giovanni will be in rehearsals. So we've got four, practically four operas already rehearsing, and of course we're looking forward to a really exciting season at ENO. Ten new productions, Directors Terry Gilliam, Rufus Norris, Mike Figgis is doing his first opera, Des Mackinoff's opening with Faust. It's a lot of fantastic things to come. Um, but our um, education outreach um, initiatives are also exciting. And um, you've just heard um, Ian McMillan up there. He's our new poet in residence. And we're very excited that he's going to be with us throughout the whole of the season, hopefully commenting, commentating on everything we're going to be doing. Um, another associate of ours is the journalist and broadcaster, Christopher Cook. He's not here today, but um, Christopher is an established and really celebrated writer, journalist, and broadcaster on the BBC. And he's going to be hosting a new initiative called Join the Conversation Live. This is a series of events before the first nights of each, op each opera, and they will be a conversation with a lot of very different people from the music profession and from the literary world. The first event will be at the Apple Store in Covent Garden before Faust on September the 18th. Christopher will host the conversation, and his guests include um, Jim Naughty from the Today Programme, and also Peter Mumford, who's designing, um, is the lighting designer for Faust. So lots of exciting things happening. I'd like to introduce you to um, Roland, who is our new director of new media and participation. It's quite a mouthful, but basically what he does is that he's leading all of our digital work, all of our online work, and he's also heading Ian O'Bayliss, and he and his team are responsible for this event, which is a first for Ian O. Have a fantastic time this evening. I hope you really get a taster of everything that's going to be happening during the season. And over to Roland. Thank you very much. Thank you, John. A few words, ladies and gentlemen, just a couple of things. It is a bit squashed down here, as I'm sure many of you appreciate. A floor below here is the Laidlaw Bar, so if you do fancy any time out at all this evening, just pop down there and you can have a quiet drink away from everything. There is quite, I think there's space upstairs. Ian, is there space upstairs? Lots of space up here. Okay, so the bars open upstairs as well, so those of you who are really squashed in, do feel free to move upstairs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to mention a couple of things. What we're all about is trying to, um, using the technical term, facilitate access to the opera. We want to see more people come to the opera. So those people who might come to the opera, but who have children or childcare issues, we're running a couple of new initiatives. One is called Opera Tots. So no prizes for guessing what that's about. For a, no prizes at all, sir. There are a couple of, uh, for matinees for the Macropolis case and for Radomisto, in the American bar, we'll be holding a crash facility where small children will have musical fun with trained and criminally checked adults. 
Um, mine, mine's still waiting to come through the clearinghouse. Okay. The other thing we're doing is called Opera Stars, and that's for children in the age range of 7 to 12. And what we, we've, we've hired a lovely room down at St. Martin in the Fields, and uh, we're going to run workshops there which relate to the operas that your children will be, or grandchildren will be seeing. So what you can do is you'll drop them off, leave them there, you can come here, have a drink, watch the opera, enjoy yourself, and then you can pick your kids up and they'll be so educated by the end of the evening, it's untrue. And you can talk about the opera on the way home. So that's it. There is a broadcast element tonight. So those of you that are familiar with Top of the Pops, which I'm sure all of you are, you may get a tap on the shoulder at some point during the evening, which means please step aside, because one of our wonderful camera operators are trying to get an actor or a singer or a musician in shot. If they are rude, forgive them, please. Thank you very much.